Not everyone. Soon. So come on. Come on. There we go. Everyone heal. Everyone heal up now. There we go. That dome of protection's still going as well. Go me. Um, alright. Woo! That was a tough fight. <sighs> that's a that's quick save. Ooh, a feather. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, that that took a while. That took a very long time, but we got there in the end. Spread your wings. We've already got that skill book. Static cloud arrow. Shocking arrow. Nice and gold. Hell yeah. More arrows for, for, for Mahalia to not use. Um, Alright. What, what, what we got? Who we got around here? What's what's going on down here exactly? This body is fresh. Were they a sorcerer? I mean, if you look, I mean they've got the little their things around them, so probably. Give me that source. Thank you. I wonder what was I wonder what was going on with that statue. I mean, we don't know now because it's dead. But oh, but you know, I had to I had to get rid of it in order to even just have a fighting chance for that with that. Disembodied hand. Okay. Oh, that's a okay. Oh, is this where the, uh... Oh, hang on. There's a, there's a cave. Ooh. Ooh. Hang on. Before we go into the cave, I want to go up. Up to the other part of this little area. See if there's anything good. I don't think there was anything up here. Apart from a couple of crates and some barrels. Yeah. Disem... Disem... Ooh! I call stained letter. That'll come in handy. To read. I'm, hope, I'm hoping that's got some information. Uh, ooh. Don't fall. Uh, ooh, a dead sorcerer. No, no still nothing. Alright, uh, let's... First things first. Yeah, cool. Um, wait, are these arrows then? Oh, it is. A st oh, yeah, it is. Okay, I should probably give that back to Beast then. Uh, to sorry, Mahalia. There you go. Um, right. Uh, books. I call stain letter. Darling Caroline, oh my sweet Caroline. Uh. I hope this will find you well, and I hope that I'm in your mind at least. I'm going to work around your system. It's a good coin. I'm going to shimmer in the air. I hope that I'm in your mind. 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 And then we'll head towards the cave. What's in this cave? Uh, huh? Eh? XP's always good. Shadow over Driftwood. Game saved. Um, we found the Wrecker's Cave. Something terrible has happened here. So this is to do with an abandoned house that the Dwarf was in. That, yeah, I, I remember that. Okay. More bodies. A lot more bodies. Oh, yeah. And that guy. Level 11, cold core void woken. Are you the only one around here? Sure seems... Sure seems that way. Oh, okay. At least they are for now. Hmm. Be 
very careful around here then. There's a void woken on the bridge ahead. Yes, there is. But where's and it there. going? Oh, away from us. Okay. Cool. Take some of your hair. No, nothing. Alright. Bone. <coughs> Good gods. Oh. Opened. You're still alive. The dwarf rocks on her haunches, gnawing at her own bloody knuckles. Okay, kind of alive. Her wet, fearful eyes flick to you. She lowers her fist just enough to hiss a warning. Away! Away! Too noisy! It'll come back! It'll take me too! What? We'll she shrinks into the fetal position. It'll come back! It'll come back! It'll come back! It'll come back! And we'll all be eaten alive! She's in the state of shock. You need her to try and focus on me. Yeah. Oh, she's safe for now. Um, let's let's uh, let's extend a comforting hand, though. Do oh, that or go the scholar out. Nah, go that way. Get away from me! You're already dead. You're eaten alive. Eaten alive. Get away from me! Okay. She clamps her hands over her ears and shuts her eyes. She rocks back and forth, deaf to your words. Okay. Never mind then. Cool. Uh, in the cave, had a dwarven survivor mad with fear. Yeah, you're not wrong. Let's see if we can go back up this way. No, no real reason to then. Void tainted severed head. Fun. Um. All right. Is this what we're doing? Is this where we're going? Is this, is, is this happening? Wait, where'd the... Where'd the void working go? Must have... Must have gone somewhere else, okay. <gasps> Rotten egg cluster. Ooh. I reckon if we uh, were to... Cool. Uh, oh, god damn it. Um... Uh... Start attacking the, that egg cluster that probably um come back. The boy void work can probably come back. Yeah, here we go. Oh, there's four of them. Ah, oh, shit. The ah, oh, fuck. Oh god. I'm in out of my I'm in way out of my league. Go back. Go back. I didn't realize there's gonna be four of them. I was hoping there's only gonna be one. Ugh. This game just got like the difficulty curve just went like just exponential. <laughs> We went wrong about Tutorial Island. I was like, yeah, that was very much a tutorial. Because now it's just like, here, bang, this is the actual game. Have fun. <laughs> oh boy. Ah. So we'll have to come back to this cave. Remember that it's here. Um, so I guess we'll head towards the, this trail of blood. Uh, I'm on level 10. So, yeah. Uh, I'm a little bit, un I'm a little bit under leveled for, uh, yeah, yeah, 10. I'm, I'm a little bit under leveled, I think, for, for that sort of stuff. I'm probably under level for a lot of things. Oh, 
one more level, I think, and you should be able to do the curve. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Oh boy! What in blazes? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I already got to look. Yeah. What are you? Hi. Can we talk? Back off, pigeon. This is my bridge, and I don't suffer fools on it. Okay. The enormous, unusually red troll looms over you with his fists clenched threateningly. His expression is stern, yet you can see the tiniest twinkle in his intelligent eyes. Didn't hear me the first time, Harrod. Uh, back away with my hands, Rose. You won't pay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, Black and Dream, you're telling me to snoop around the city some more, so I will do just that. Um, I, I assume by city you mean like you mean driftwood. Which is fine, because we might have actually, um, Mortis House. Yeah, that's the house I want to go to. Uh, because we did what we did with the dwarves and the statue and everything, have, have you checked the tavern and talked to people around there? I haven't, so I should probably do that. I kind of just came in and was like, cool, this is a place. Let's, you know, talk to the Magister, talk to the Meister. Um, and then went on my way. So I should probably go into the tavern. But I'll talk to you Let's first. Get. She rolls her eye. Oh, okay, never mind then. Um, as, yeah, that's, I, there's a, quite a bit going on in Driftwood. Alright, let's go to the tavern then. Let's go to the tavern, get ourselves a drink. Have a bit of a banter around with people. Against all the odds. Oh yeah, this is this is a large place. All right, let's. If I know my RPGs and and D and Ds pretty well, we should be talking talking to the, the to Prudence over here behind the bar. And she probably knows a fair few people that I should talk to. She pins you with blue steel sharp eyes as you approach the bar. Blessings upon our Lucian, seven times divine. Seven times divine. Uh, tell her there's no sense in passing a blessing to a dead god. <laughs> she just... <laughs> what a mate. What a... What an introduction. <laughs> Hello to you too. Um, nod your head in deference. Recall the common greeting from a generation ago responding kind and your seven blessings upon us deserving. Yeah, let's do that. The soft lines of her face fold into a warm smile. She sets the glass on the counter and pours you a generous portion of an amber liquor. Ooh, thank you. See, your mother raised you very well indeed. Yeah. Rare for a lizard, but all the more impressive. Okay. <laughs> you and my nerds might even get along. What brings you to Driftwood, darling? Shudder as you recall a certain Niles you meant to Fort Joy. Sadistic torture. Wait, your Niles? Oh! Okay. Wow. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, Lion, tell your head. You heard there have been quite some trouble with Void working here and you wanted to offer your assistance, so you just passed through on route to Arx, tell the truth you come from Port Joy. Shudder as you call to another minute, so just talk to Skyrim's appearance and ask if you have the right man. I was gonna say, like, dude, a personality only, only a mother can love. God damn. Um, let's, let's go with the lie. They have been a trial, that's for certain. <coughs> the me. Here. They'll protect us. You can rest your hat on that, sure as the sun to rise. My boy Niles will make sure of that. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. Anyhow, mm. what can I get you? Um, so yeah, if she's a mother to a magister, her room is cursed in tea. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Again, what a it's it's. Hi, how are you? Thanks for the thanks for the drink. You must have a cursed womb. <laughs> Let's not go down that conversational route. Um, what, what do you what do you have What do you have to offer? We've only got amber ale, I'm afraid. That's and fine. the potatoes for hard alcohol. If you'd like something that'll stick to your ribs, I'd flag down Loverick and get yourself a bowl of the house stew. Ah, oh, we'll have a pint of ale then. Thank you. 
Oh god. <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, Mahalia, you need to learn some um, some social cues, some 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 tact. Oh man, yeah, you're not wrong. R rude indeed, rude indeed. Uh, mug of wine, apple juice, lemonade. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we we don't need any of that stuff. We got plenty of that. All right, let's take our leave. Uh, who are you sitting all on your own? Connie Gregor. She nods an uninterested greeting. Here for the fight. Uh, fight? This is a tavern. People are drinking. Eventually, there'll be a fight. You planning on starting? One? Niles is humanity at peak performance. <laughs> I mean, to some people, I guess. <laughs> to the, to the uh, sadistic ones among us, sure. Um, I mean. I'm not planning on starting a fight, but I'll definitely finish one. Shake your head, shrug, maybe look around, admit you're tempted, tell her if I was probably never to ask her to fight with you when the time comes. Ooh. Any and all, uh, any, any friends will be happy. Will buy be fine me with a me. drink and I'll think about it. Tell her she should buy you a drink if she knows what's good for her. Dude, Mahalia, calm yourself down. <laughs> okay, you don't need to be... She really, she really does just want to fight everyone. She's like Russell Crowe, you know, fighting around the world. Um, god damn. Uh, no, t yeah, Cheers. toss her a gold coin. There you Later go. Then. Thanks, excellent. God damn. <laughs> we want to be on friendly terms with everyone, not tr everyone, everyone trying to kill us. Garvin, what do you, what's your story? Oh, you mean the one I was just talking to? Oh, oh, oh. Um, fresh out of a uh, house too, I'm afraid there, mate. Of course you are. Here I sit, a paying customer with a purse full of coin, and I can't even get my hands on a little something warm in my belly. No, no chill indeed. Holy crap, like. After all I've been through, too. Hi, what have you been through? He lowers his gaze, then looks up at you expectantly. Relent and ask him what's the matter, or tell him you don't have time for a soft story. Yeah, Mahalia, you seem to only have time for... for fights. Um, both verbal and physical. Uh, no, 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 what's, what's the his matter, bud? Trembles what's the matter, buddy? Tell me. Um, it's my gone. mentor. My dear mentor. He was... Killed That's unfortunate. By those boy beasts. I told him we ought not to travel in the hills, but would he listen? Yeah, I guess no. not. No, okay. Now, here I sit, my closest companion gone, our precious cargo worth more than Lucian's right ring, lost to the beast infested wild, mm -hmm. and the waiter won't even <laughs> bring me any stew. Ask him to tell you more about his missing supplies. Perhaps you could retrieve them. Sorry about the hero's going to come. Wish you take a leave. Say so you have problems and walk. Look, I got my own problems. Fuck off. I'm gone. I'm gone. gone. Uh, no, no, no. Maybe we could retrieve this stuff. Then perhaps my luck has changed. Yes. Perhaps this awful business might soon be behind me. Perhaps. Tell me, how are you with, well, boy woken? Done it before. Slain him before and we'll do it again. Uh, you can deal with them when they cross you. Say so you've got in trouble with them. You're not here, but... Um, I can deal with them when they cross me. And I, well, actually, no, I do plan to do it again. Oh, no, God bless oh, terrific news. Then what I ask will be little more than a trifling. Okay. My mentor, Lee, and I were hauling in a goodly number of fine wares from the Southlands when we crossed paths with a great brute of a void woke. I see. We made short work of Lee and may the gods rest his soul. I managed to escape, but my precious cargo was left behind. We've invested our entire livelihood in those wares. I'll do anything to get them back. So you should be able to get the supplies back, but we're wanting a fair share of the taking. Some is a big task. How many tends to compensate you? Tell me how to help him. Um. Yeah, we don't. I mean, we're happy to help, but you know, not necessarily for free. Very, very well. That's how. That cargo is worth more than a pretty penny. 
and I'll owe its retrieval to you and you alone. Okay, okay. Now, give me your map. I'll show you just where to look. I doubt those beasts out there have any use of such a cargo. I Thank can't you. tell you how thoroughly you've made my day. <laughs> Good luck. I do. I do anything. Yeah. Uh, okay. Business run. Just mental and troll by them. Oh, yeah. I think the man is stupidly expensive bridge troll. It's fighting arena, fighting arena somewhere in Driftwood. And I'm going to ban these girls on the road. Yes. Uh, so. Oh, over. Oh, okay. That's where the abandoned supplies are. Oh. Well, we were just there. So we, that. Alright. So easy. Um. Okay, what do you guys got going on? Probably something to do with this guy. Bastard tongues. Well, I didn't mean to, sorry. Yeah, I do anything, so it's a fucking tavern. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do anything except actually do anything. <laughs> I've tried nothing and I'm all out of ideas. Uh, you didn't, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, what? And gargles on his own saliva. He then returns to his pub, but his voice cracks mid verse. Well, never you mind. Every sonnet I compose is a masterpiece, and my muse has been begging me to write something new. Wait, okay. you might be just the stimulus I needed. Ooh. I shall craft a rhyme for you and your race. All I ask in return is a handful of coins. It's an offer of a light. So you you want me to be your new muse? Oh 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 oh! I I'm I'm flattered, really. Um, yeah, what do I get out of it? Fame, notoriety, neither, or both. The thing about a good poem is that it wiggles into the ear. People think it's just a catchy rhyme. Okay. But it changes minds and hearts for good and for ill. Um, alright, I'm pretty sure we've got enough coin. For around, yeah, between the four of us, we've got a, we've got a significant amount. Alright, here you go. Magnificent! But if I am to write a first rate work, you must face some difficult questions. Are you prepared to answer? <sighs> Look, I. If questions is the only thing that's going to be difficult about this, then ask away. Um, um, he stares go. at you for a few torturing moments. Let's cut to the chase, lizard. Your kind has built an empire on the backs of slaves, reaping the rewards of the innocent's toil. Do you condemn your kin? Admit that while the Empire's practice may be tradition is cruel by definition, or insist that no kin should apologize for offering food and shelter to lesser beasts. Ooh, oh, 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 okay. Speciesist, Mahalia. Um, and yeah, it, it is cruel by definition. Yep. He smiles a crooked smile and runs a hand through his greasy hair. It isn't just slaves that suffer, though, is it? You eternally seek perfection, though offer no room in the creaking empire machine to the sage or the savant. What say you? Uh, I can see that you wonder how much greater the empire's sonnets might be if the kin prompted original thought in place of obedience, uh, or inform him that the empire's only lived precisely because every kin understands their place. Again, that I. That's uh, no. Um, for original thought, yeah. Inde independent thinking would, would goes a long way. Mm. This <coughs> superiority complex, this haughtiness, so cold. Others see you for what you truly are. Monsters. Loveless, heartless, ruthless. You know it to be true. Uh, dismiss him out of hand. Love is not a poet, not as poets dream. It's sadistic, not restorative. Greatness demands you resist it, or not in a sense. Many akinas overlook true love in favor of order and ambition. So many lives wasted on drudgery. I'm kind of throwing my own race and in, under the bus, but I mean, you know, I guess Mahalia is a victim of is a victim of lizard privilege. <laughs> um. Mother, would you call her a victim then? If you've got lizard privilege, if you've got privilege, uh, is a no. It's not a victim. It's a, a, a what do you call it? A uh, there's a word for it. Um, 
can't think of it now, but she's, she's got advantage. Anyway. Um... Yeah, go the bard on. hems and haws, then bellows his next words to anyone who might hear. To all lovers <coughs> of verse, I bring <coughs> glorious news. I have completed another modern classic. Listen now, and bask in its resounding refrain. Okay, let's see how this Empire works. built upon the backs of slaves. Yeah. Does not deserve the faintest breath of praise. Correct. Eternally, the servants toil and sweat. Yep. Yet cannot extricate themselves from debt. Yep, that's that's when yeah. Genius is average. The cream always rises. Ambition is all. A life of few surprises. The time has come to yep. ease their daily grind. Yeah. And insist their hearts to overwhelm their minds. Yeah, not bad. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, well done. Fant fantastic. Good 20 gold worth well spent. Uh, what are you guys talking about? Well, all this saucer on the loose. I knew they should have cut off the Meister's head and burned the rest. Gotta make sure it don't grow back. Cool, go fuck yourself. Uh, you're drunk, so you should be interesting. On her chair, her eyes focused on the counter in front of her, where she has six glasses in a row. With the nails of two fingers, she's pressing red welts into her forearm. Okay. She slides one of the drinks towards you. Her head bobbling heavily on her. Oh, neck. I just really <laughs> nods at the sparkling edge. I just noticed all of the mugs on the. Oh no. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that nine? No, eight. Eight. Eight, eight mugs of, of ale right there. God damn. Uh, look from her to the drink, shrug, and drink it down in one more gold. Tell her she looks like she's in a bad state after she's not. Ought to, she's after she ought not to take it easy. Yeah, although. Let's just, yeah, give it a good drink. Nothing like a glass of a good stuff to smudge everything into a pretty shape. He's not wrong there, because that's great. It's fantastic. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, yum. One. She slides another glass of ale toward you. Its contents sparkle in the dim bar. Oh, no, thank you very much. Yeah. No. So one from the first glass, the second is all the more tricky. Gulp it down. Say not in the habit of telling pretty girls no, and gulp down the second drink. Ask her why she seems so determined to drown her thoughts tonight. Let's go. The let's go that one. I don't want to get. I don't want to get blackout drunk. Oh, it's a sad story about a lover who left me out cold. Names uh, mind your business. That's funny. It's a pun. Still warm from the. Um, my internet did that for a moment. I assume the door sang your grand song. He. He sang a song. It was all right. I don't know if it was worth the twenty gold I paid, but it is what it is. Um, I'm now I'm now getting drunk with Saffa, the elf. Um, uh, still one for the second. Seems all the more attractive. You got it down. Mm, yeah. Not in the habit of telling pretty girls, no. Can you just not? Not what? Cheers to you, me, and. Her gaze swivels around the room. Damien's dull knife. This place is horrible. Never mind. Cheers to you, me, <laughs> and me again. Yeah. Another. Look at her closely. Her eyes are bloodshot and blurry and more lines her face. Tell her she should stop drinking really. Your face feels really numb. The first drink's hitting you hard. Feeling bold, you take the third glass and slow down the other side. Not the glass, uncertain whether you should take your head is starting to swim, your whole body feels warm. Screw up your face a little bit closer. She's not like any of the others we've met so far. Um let's go to the first one. Give me one good reason. Okay. Uh, I think our constitution's probably gonna be the one to do it. Oh our intelligence is <laughs> went down big time. Uh, I wonder why. Um, no, our constitution should be the one. So, uh, so she looks like someone with a story to tell us. She can't tell it if she's passed out cold. Yeah! 
She dumps a heavy arm around your shoulder and pulls you in close, her breath hot and sour in your face. Look it. Look it. Look at this. This. This is my story. This is? She shows you the two swollen, angry red welts on the underside of her arm. Oh, okay. She slaps them without finesse, making herself wince, and stares at you intensely. Okay. I know how to make it better. I can fix it, all of it. I'll tell you. Go on. There's a... See, there's this woman. I'm not crazy. And if she kisses you, she can change you. It's not like the witch... Radica, is it? Because her kisses could change you. Temporarily, anyway. And not for... The not, not you know, for good. She's so, hopefully it's different. And, oh. And, and now I'm different. Uh, how have you changed? I don't know how to s say it. I just feel it. Like... I change the right way. <laughs> and then... And then... I mean, I think that'll be fine. I, I changed from being sober and miserable to being drunk and not giving a shit about anything. So we're good. You understand how, you know, sometimes you just want to be fine. Uh, the alcohol is losing your mind, your tongue. You admit you often wish for happiness. Observe the elf. She seems very, very drunk. You lean and whisper your darkest secret into her. No. I'm already fine as I am. Yeah. Hey, Rudy. This lady says she's doing fine. Ah, what a sack. Not all of us are mm. so lucky. That is yeah, that's true. Excuse me. Alright. But, so downstairs, I'll find this person. With a desire. Drunken elf in the liaison with a giant spider. What? I didn't hear about, I didn't know anything about a spider. Can I go down, can I open the door? Oh, yeah. Stew is good. If you think you have eaten. With Leah. The cook what do you got going on? With a small bow, an oddly oh. formal gesture, given the surroundings. Please, madam, you should not be back here. It's not safe. Trolley stare back at the cook with the man and bowl of stew on the house. Um, no, <laughs> that's that's not how that's done. Inhale the aroma in the kitchen and comment that the cook must favour nutmeg. Ooh, ask you if you buy some and find something. Smile so and say, "Explain the danger of town kitchen." I'm not sure why she's so good. Uh, let's go with the scholarly Cinnamon, route. Not nutmeg. Oh, sorry. There's a food shortage in these parts. Fresh meat can be hard to come by. Liberal <laughs> seasoning helps disguise all sorts of sins. Oh, yeah, don't I know that. Now, please, I must return to my work. Um, why, yeah, why are you so Sharp capable Sharp knives, lady? boiling liquids, short tempers. Yeah. Don't underestimate the dangers here. Now, please. I must insist. Make you make this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, don't knock it until you've tried it. I guess. Like I, that sounds like something. Like, if I wasn't, uh, if I had still eat it, eat it to the meat, then I might give it a shot. But I don't. Um. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Ne never say never. Never say never, Button Green. You never know. There might come a time where you're complete. Like, I don't know. Something might come about where. I have no value to taste buds. <laughs> hey, I, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Never say never. Never say never. Ooh, loose plank. Oh, ruby, seal, healing potion. Oh. Sorry, I didn't... I'm sorry. It was a loose plank, and it looked like I could get... To... Oh, damn it. My apologies. Hey, if it ain't the beast, man. You can't believe you found driftwood. Now you smell the ale over all that rotten fish. Get it? <laughs> the okay. unfamiliar dwarf scratches his head nervously, then chuckles again. He doesn't seem sure what to say next. Neither do I. Hey, 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 hey. Shh. Oh, okay. That, that, all right. I don't need magisters crawling up my backside after I just emptied it out. I'll be quiet. Yeah, in the funny. You bet. Squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> now 
Go on down. Effie's Emporium's your back for sure. Oh, okay. Cool. I'll do that. Um, I just want to go upstairs real quick and see if there's anyone up there. And there is. Curiosity killed my cat. Or gets it sent to Fort Joy. Uh, that's locked, so can go there. This is probably locked as well. No, it's not. Who be here? Ooh, some guardsmen, Baron. Careful. Ah, uh, yeah, there is a. <laughs> you spotted again. Spotted the trap as I'm heading towards the ship. Ignore the warning. Be ready. Agree with you. I'm sorry. 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 Can I? Can I still talk to you? Yeah, no. When one's in a small town, one must expect small town manners, I see. Yeah, I don't seem to have them. Have you a reason for barging into my room, madam? Uh, fame before the money income, I told you this is your room. <laughs> so you know other reason than natural curiosity, even in your friend Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's, that one's true. I have no other reason than natural curiosity. Which is what killed the cat, remember? Uh, I don't know, ask Sir Laura, he's the one riding it. Still, no harm done, I suppose. I may as well introduce myself. Baron Levere, at your service. You too, no, uh, no, no, they will, well armed. Ask Baron where his travels have taken you. Yeah, travels, you say? And why would you assume I'm a travelling man? Uh, manner of speech, remark, he sounds like a city man or a small town villager. The quality is close, I know man is as rich as him, lives in a black water, backwater like Driftwood. Shouting his booze, point out I look quite travel worn. Yeah, it's good, that one. He laughs, hearty. Of all things, I wouldn't have thought my boots would give me away, but you're quite right, of course. Yeah, I'm good like I that. I am travelling, yes, to Arx. Oh, that's not too far away from here. Day will be upon us soon. A celebration <laughs> no man with a heart that is both as pious and mercantile as mine should miss. Uh, inquire. I go because it is every citizen's duty. Our communal obligation to chant the rites of the return and pray for Lucian's divine resurrection. I see. That said, I do have more secular motivations as well. Uh-huh. Arx positively overflows with pilgrims during the festival. Pilgrims and their purses. As a merchant, it is quite my favorite day of the year. Uh, if he's a merchant, you wouldn't mind having a look at his words. You know, yeah, let's, let's go that Music way. to my ears. If there's anything else you need, know you're always welcome. Um, let's have a look at your, uh, your expensive shit. Mm, that's a lot of money, though. Um, wouldn't mind some more resurrection scrolls. I could probably sell you. Oh, I would sell you some stuff. Oh no, I, my attitude with you is actually quite it's decent. Okay, that's good. Um, okay, good to know. Good to know. All right, so I can trade with you as well. I'll sell you some stuff. Some stuff. Excellent. Magisters. Uh, someone's sleeping, so I don't really, shouldn't wake them. And you can't be too careful, you know. If I can get this is more like it. This room Captain, has standards. Captain Elberweather. A weather woman in a dirty sea captain's tunic babbles breathlessly to herself, and somewhere nearby, you hear a bell ringing. Okay. The bell rings a warning, and the tide is on the turn. And I, without my compass. Uh, yeah. Well, you are a captain. Yes, you must be a captain. Well, the name kind of gave it away as well. Ask her where her ship lies buried. The ship is in the locker, on the bottom in the rocky shallows, and all are drowned but me. Errol. And yet, can you hear? The bell rings on. The bell haunts me yet, and it would drive me mad. Uh, I hear the bells and cruel laughter too. That, that I'm sounds good. I'm haunted by my crew. Woo. They ring the bell to drive me mad. Please make it stop. Okay, I can probably do that. She buries her <coughs> head in her hands and cries. Make it stop. Stop. All right, all right, all right. I'll, I'll give it a shot. Brax. Shame it is. Helga, what are you guys talking about? An absolute shame. Uh, it is indeed a damn shame. I don't know what idle gossip. That idle gossip is always a shame. Um, yeah, what shame are you Alexander, talking about? Slaughtered like a supper lamb. Poor dear. Uh, uh, the eight right. Uh, <laughs> oh, right. Never thought I'd say this. I hope they round up them sorcerers for good. I ain't needing one sick and avoid working on me. Um, you said it, Ilga. You're a true patriot. Yeah, alright, cool. Uh, that, we had nothing to do with that. Bye.
Uh, Magister, what do you guys With a dip of her head, she indicates that you should talk to her companion. Then she turns back to her drink. Okay. Uh, Eden. What do you want, reptile? Uh, I want a pint of ale and a bowl of stew. You want nothing at all. Good. Before you go, help us settle an argument. Okay, what's the argument? Tatcha here is one of my dearest friends, but she isn't the brightest. Tatcha grins. Hello. Hello. Our mate Boris got posted to Fort George uh. for consorting with lizards. <laughs> yeah. And Tatcha here still fancies a turn around the park with Lovric's lizard. I say she'd be sleeping with the enemy. What say you? Mm. They look at you expectant. Now that if Thatcher is looking for the romance, she should look no further than a partner. It must be clear to everyone that Evan here is deeply in love with her. Mm. Let's go that way. Thatcher bursts <coughs> out. <coughs> Evan goes bright red. Get lost. <laughs> before I throw you in a cell for disrespecting a magister. Two magisters. The magisters. Uh, someone's a bit... Thatcher uh, doesn't look disrespectful. Yeah. Thatcher looks amused. Disrespecting one magister is enough. Go on. Get lost. She turns back to her drink. Okay, alright, okay. Of course it's not true. Yeah, uh, of course, of course, alright. Oh yeah, that was locked, so let's go back downstairs. <clears throat> I think we've explored everything we can up here. And so now we'll go down here. Hey, alright. Rhymes of the Scribes, a couple of gold. Uh, recipes, right? Chicken claw scroll. Cool. Not that we really need it, but good to, to know. And we can actually make one. Cool. Um, draining soil. Fast to stop torments. Yeah, cool. We'll do that eventually. Um, so. What be down here then? I've spotted something. Oh, okay. In the poison. What'd you spot? What do you what do you find? Oh, um, pouch oh, with gold. How is a crossbow and some boots in that small little pouch? Is it like a pouch of holding? Like, is that what it is? God damn. Uh, all right. Go to equipment. Go to weights. Maybe it's a small crossbow. Like, yeah, just a... It's like the world's smallest crossbow. Uh, let's identify these boots. Ooh, they're not bad. Plus two initiative, plus three percent dodging. Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, need to... Send them to Beast. Oh, beast, you um, I really need to... Uh, sell some stuff and I will I will after this after this stream I will sell I'll be selling a whole bunch of stuff get some more gold as well um, but yeah okay let's have a look at my current crossbow probably better than the one I just picked up and looks at things it is yeah no it definitely is uh, and then the boots uh, first off Probably 11, 8. So yeah, 16, 11. Hell yeah. There's some more dodging as well. Excellent. There we go. Looking good, looking good. Alright. Let's keep going down here. Look at that. A fresh face. Shrewd and sophisticated. Like any true lizard. Uh, thanks. Good to meet you, Governor. What's your poison, Dan? A sip or a smoke? Ooh, okay. Uh, tell her you'd like to have a gander what she has to offer. Wave your hand through the wafting smoke and ask if that's Drudan, Drudanay that you're smelling. Um, what do you have on Take offer? All the talk. Pleasure doing business with you, Governor. <laughs> you got sweet FA. Alright. Is that Oi, so it is. But not just any Drudanay. Oh, no. My own special blend. Oh, do you uh, do you grow it yourself? Further down's the arena, see. Ah, the right. The are always on the lookout for an edge. I, I give them that edge. Ah. Could say that my darling herbs flower in the flesh, a 
and blossom in the brain. Lovely. So, if you're interested, Governor, all you have to do is use your imagination. How can I make you bloom? Um, not interested, but maybe later. Take my leave. Uh, so I'm going to assume maybe over here is the arena. <clears throat> what do you want? Boss is busy. This nope. strokes his beard for a few seconds, buries his hand inside it, then yeah. rips it out again to display his extended middle finger. He marches past, finger still raised, to the chagrin of the corking guard. <laughs> uh, shrug his shoulders and follow your dwarven companion. The guard shrugs back. Boss can take care of himself. I'd like to see your friend try that with him. Uh, okay, so it looks like low. This may be low. Ooh. Okay. Get you up from girl to woman. Yep, this is like half cool. Like you was my own. This. He lifts his right arm, showing a white bandage beneath his ribs. A wet red spot shows through. This ain't the thanks I expected. Who Ooh. sent you? Ooh. <clears throat> the formidable dwarf okay. slams his fist on the side table. You hear a loud crack. Enough. Do you know they killed Anha? Do ya? Start talking sense or I'll take that tongue right out of your mouth and fry it for supper. Uh, let's just stay quiet. This has got nothing to do with us. Bart, Kate, get her to talk or bleed her out. She ain't one of mine anymore. His sneer travels from the restrained dwarf to you. Hi. And you. Uh, there you go. You better have a damn good reason for coming here. We do. Well, Beast does anyway. Beast, you wanted to talk to him? What did you think was Beast gonna bristles the moment he sees his fellow dwarf and slams his right fist into his left palm, growling all the while. Uh, allow Beast to Beast jerk. thrusts his weapon at his fellow dwarf, who looks first to you, then to Beast. He's surprisingly unfazed by the obvious threat. It's probably just a greeting between them. You're a brave lad waltzing in here now. I know who you are, you know. The Beast of the Sea. What brings you to this good-for-nothing town? That's a good question. Operation Downfall, you numbskull. And you'll tell me what you know, or I'll turn your guts inside out and stuff them down your throat. Disgusting. <laughs> well, before you go blood-crazed, you should know the Queen's no friend of mine. Not no more. He hawks a wad of spit on the floor, then motions mm. to the room around him. Okay. I'm a businessman. <clears throat> I can't say I always keep things on the up and up, but I don't think a rogue pirate's got a lot of room to judge a man for his various trade concerns. And what Justin is cooking up ain't so good for my bottom line. Right, so it's all business. I don't for want you. to help Justin here. I want to stop her. Okay. Beast considers Lohar's words for a moment, then sheaths his weapon and motions to Lohar to keep talking. I thought you'd see things my way. Come, make yourself comfortable. We'll have a chat when you're ready. Interesting. Um, I must tread carefully, lest he accuse us of spying. It's just that he's turned against this means to do what means to do what Lohar asks for now. Okay. So yeah, we will do that. Talk to him again. Okay, alright, alright. I was gonna go back and see what the other red flag is. Dorotia. That talk was just the beast interaction. Oh, okay. Brave lass. Walks in and here now. I hope for your sake you've got good news for me. This is the wolf at the front of the room. Ask what happened between them. So you may, depending on what he's interested in, but I think he's going to know too. Ask what sort of news he is after. Feed the must soon. He might be able to help you. Tell him that he's telling the threat. No, no, no. Let's go to the first one. Family matter. She's one of mine. Acting like her brains are scrambled, though. Came after me with a knife. Lucky okay. for me, she caught an old wound. Scar slowed down the knife. <laughs> cool. So. How'd you make it out of Fort Joy? Uh, ask how he knows about that. You made it past plenty of magic that's undetected. The spell brought the human with a tail. I'm suspiciously why is he interested in anything like that? Play the full answer with me. No, he clearly knows more than, than I think, than, than he's letting on. So, <clears throat> regale him with the tail. <laughs> I've got to say, I'm impressed. <laughs> I love a good story. Yeah, I thought you would. Here's one I heard lately. A group of strangers landed on the beaches outside town. Meister Seaver's people. Oh, uh, really? One of her little seekers. Chasing down Godwoken and begging them to save us all. Uh, <laughs> you're one such Godwoken, he can start begging anytime. Uh, 
I kind of yeah. No, let's go with that one. Cause it's because of the the who we're talking to. Yeah. That's so. He leans back and narrows his eyes, looking you up and down. Go you on. know the order's been going on about Godwoken for an eon now. Mm. Voidwoken's still lurking though, and they're still all in folks off to the joy. Mm -hmm. that so is if true. you are who you say you are, what's the point of you? Tell him you might, he might, tell you him you might be able to stop all of this. Lord of the but not yet. You need information first. Shrug. He can take that up with the master if he wants. But according to her, she has he has information you need. Say that if he wants to find out there's something you need to know. Uh, ask him what the, ask him what the point of him is. <laughs> oh, I love it. So good. Uh, might be able to, mm. Yeah, that one. Let me guess. Siva sent you off looking for sorcerers. That is true. I could help you. But last I heard you was working for the Magisters. Big shots at the boats. Nope. Now, why in the name of all the Earths would I help a worm like that? Well, that's just a front. I'm just trying to keep in their good books so they don't... Uh, so they're not uh, having their attention and focus on me. I'm playing the long game here. You ever heard of 4D chess? It's what I'm playing. Um... Constitution persuasion should do it. Yeah. An unpleasant smirk twitches around the corners of his mouth. Right. I reckon I could help you out. Depending on what you can do for me. What do you have in mind? Yeah, tell him that unless he wants this realm to be consumed by the boy who say what you need to know. So you, all you need is names, that will cost him anything quickly, agree, you'll do whatever it takes. Tell him you're not here to make a deal to heal. Uh, what do you, yeah, what do you have in he mind? He gestures towards the bandage across his side. Had a bit of family trouble lately. My girl Marla got it in her head to come after me with a short blade. Yeah, so uh, you, you told me that already. That ain't like Marla. Ain't like her to pull the silent treatment either. Something's going on. Okay. And wouldn't you know it, that blade she used wasn't any normal bit of steel. Belonged to another of my people. Interesting. The guy's name is Mordus. Bit of a loner, but smart as hell. Okay. I sent a few guys to go check on him. See if he knew what had got into Marla, but no one can find him. Hmm. Hmm. I'd like a word with the guy. Uh, sounds reasonable. Where you should ask where you should start. Ask if you expect someone to survive that particular conversation. Uh, where should? Yeah, Glad no, where you should see it that way. Yeah. No one's seen him in a good few. <clears throat> I've got some people checking out his house near the tavern now. Though. Oh, is that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. They'll yeah. let you know what they've found. Cool, 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 cool. Truth is, they might be glad to see you. Reckon a sorcerer will have better luck finding one of their own. Uh, that's not something else you should know. Say there's something else you'd like to discuss. Uh, and yeah, anything well, else? Well, like I said, Maldus is a special guy. A sorcerer, matter of fact. Maybe even one of the ones Seavers after. Uh, maybe. If there's something you want to find out from him, you might want to ask before I have my word with him. <laughs> yeah, that, Here, yeah. you can take this off my Ooh. hands. More suited to your kind, really. Mm, more like Seville's kind, luck. but okay. Because I don't do daggers. Oh, Seville does. Bad. Cool. Alright, well that was... Yeah, I'm glad I went back and talked to him. Uh, maybe we can have another word passes. Mod can take, make a link to a teacher. Yes. Criminal Low House, so she's associated with Mod's house on the edge of Driftwood. Uh, Low House is a difficult so maybe we can exploit this. Yes, maybe we can. Uh, and now we'll go and talk to... Uh... You, Dorot, Dorot, the the decadent one. Hello, you. darling. Call me Dorothea. Oh, Dorothea. Sorry, I got the uh, pronounce right. Pronunciation wrong. My apologies. She draws close. You feel her breath on your neck, hot, moist. Ooh. Oh, you got you're getting me all flustered. Mm. Oh yes, I have something that you want. But I only bargain with those I deem deserving. Oh, really? Those who have accomplished great things. So, tell me. Yes. Are you worthy of my gift? <gasps> What's your gift? I uh, wonder what it is she's offering you. Ask what it is she wants in exchange for this gift. Insist that champions of the Fort Joy Arena needs not prove their worth. Inform her that you escape for this. This kind of worthy is she's seeking. Um, <clears throat> uh, well, what do you want in exchange? Love. I must consider your merits before I answer your questions. 
why I wouldn't tease you with a gift I could never offer. You don't think me cruel, do you? The champ if it's just the champions of the fortune, you not prove their worth. Um, maybe the let's go. Yeah, let's go that one. Indeed. Mm. Yeah. This is acceptable. Okay, good. You are nearer the one than most self-described heroes I've known. Well, I'm um, yeah. So tell me, I'm good like that. Are you ready for me to grant you your greatest desire? Uh, Scholar, those eyes, deep, yes, but lifeless. They reflect no light as if absorbing every ray that enters. Hmm. I see the questions scurrying through your head. It's worrying too much and wandering too far. If you show yourself to me, yes. I will show myself to you. Ooh, 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 boy. All right, okay. Uh, we're still, uh, mm. Uh, um, uh, 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 um. You have a okay. need to expose it. Look into my ring and tell me what you see there. Uh, <laughs> tell you do it. Who wouldn't want to see a wish granted? Um, okay, let's do it. Gaze into the gem, my lovely. Oh, what's about to happen? She flashes her ring at you, and you stare at the luminous <coughs> stone at its center. You are floating on a current of pure source, surrounded by a kaleidoscope of colors and fuzzy images. Okay, okay. On the horizon looms a dark... Jesus. Place. As you approach, a beam of light washes the shadow away, revealing to you... Uh, what do we prefer? A towering oak with standing gale force winds, a symbol of strength, a quill made from a swan feather, a tool for those pursuing knowledge, a golden chest covered with runes and overflowing with emeralds, a certainly dragon that spreads the rings of war such power, a blue butterfly calling from its chrysalis... A second chance at life. So obviously, I'm going to assume that let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five. I wonder if they have anything to do with these attributes. Or you know, they they uh, give me something. You know, they they up something. Maybe, does, maybe some of them have some have some to do with attributes. Maybe some of them have something to do with something else. Um, which one do we go for? Um, I kind of want to go the dragon one. So let's do that. Mm, yes, I see you clearly now. Mm, it is power you seek. Always. To conjure maelstroms and command the lights to drive away shadow. And that's what a god woken does. I will fulfill this desire. In return, I ask for one thing in return. You didn't have to say in return twice. Anyway, anyway. A kiss. Uh, ha ha hmm? Dorothea sighs, a fusion of a kitten's what? purr and a cockroach's clacking. Yeah, that's still not helping ah, me. For me to help you, our souls must touch. And a kiss brings our souls closer, does it not? It shall fulfill both your desire and mine. There better not be a catch that I'm not seeing here. save just in case all right agree to the deal most delicious <coughs> Meet Excuse me, me. Around the corner and come alone an audience is not required oh come on let them let them let them be cocks let them see a whip of desire uh professor turn for yeah Also, what's 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 going on around here? Ooh, another thing. Ah, this is oh, this is really. Weird. You gotta go, Aline. Aline? Oh, alone is what you meant. You gotta go alone. Oh, I discovered a waypoint. Excellent. So this is the okay. So this is the arena. 
This is the driftwood over here. Cool, 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 cool. <clears throat> All right, well. Oh. Ooh, okay, hang on. Your career has to stay behind us, you won't do the sexy things. <laughs> I'll do that, just hang on a sec. Um, Lowe's, can you just go over to the other side and click that one down? I want to see what's going. I want to see what happens. Hey! Will it stay? No, it won't. Okay. Can you go back? Thank you. Uh, Mahalia, can you unchain with Beast? Beast, can you go and have a look what's behind there? Ooh. 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 Here we go. Uh, Ceremonial Dagger. Let's pick that up. Uh, chest with a knockdown arrow and a modest ring. Uh, coin purse with some gold. Skeleton that's got nothing. Candles. Skeleton with also nothing. Uh, ooh! Unidentified ring from a lucky find. If we just... That's, that's the other... That's the same skeleton though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh well. Cool. Well, that kind of... Oh, hang on a minute. Have we... Can we check inside the... No. Okay. Oh, there's something there. Sweet. Well, that worked out well. I don't suppose I can... Oh no, I can chain with you. And then... Chain back with Mahalia, right? We can do that. Can we do that? Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, wait, hang on. Uh, where's Dorothea? Over there. Okay. Sorry, guys. You're going to have to stay here for a sec. There we go. Wait, wait. <clears throat> See, look. I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm alone. Yeah. Her lips pout, but otherwise her face is steel. I waited, <gasps> yet you never appeared. <laughs> I hope you have not changed your mind. I am Apart Lazarus. Apologies. Yeah, okay. I'm coming. <laughs> I thought that was... I was like, oh no, don't, don't tell me I just blown my one and only chance to get lucky. Um, come on. Dorothea sees there we go. And okay. A shuddering sigh. She bites into her lower lip with enough force that a drop of blood seeps out. Blood oh, okay. and something else. Something green. Okay, that's always a good sign. Darling, I admit I wish we could share more carnal pleasures. Yet I think a kiss is the height of intimacy. Mm. Now come closer. It well, depends on the kiss and your where. Oh. You closer and close your eyes, eager to feel her lips on yours. Yet her lips do not press against yours. Hey, a red bat! Do not caress your face. She is a woman no longer, but a were spider. Red backs are poisonous, like oh, not poisonous, but venomous. So yeah, suppress your fears and accept Dorothea's kiss. Let's do it. Oh, achievement unlocked! Kiss of the Spider Woman. Yay! <coughs> her fang I did it. She sinks into your neck. You still hear her words, though they sound muffled, as if filtered through a glass wall. Yeah. You desired power, and so it's yours. My venom seeps into every pore. Yay. We part ways now. I'll remember this one. Uh, tell her you don't appreciate a ruse. Why don't you just Did she just drink your blood? Um. Freeze your weapon. This is seafood creature should not be allowed to live. Uh, no. Don't just do that. Um, yeah, that one. You've seen my true self. There's nothing more to know. Okay. She kisses her forefinger, then presses it against your scaled forehead. Now go. Okay. You received new talent. Spider's kiss. All right. Um, is that around here anywhere at all? Uh, <clears throat> doesn't look like it. Um, yeah. 
kind of finding her in the book. What was that about? Here's why the Black Bull's cook is behind the Magister's disappearance. Oh, okay. Um, where's my spider's kiss? It's a talent. Like, far out, man. <laughs> So it's not a skill, it's a talent. Like execution- Oh, or pep out. Yeah, right, right, right. Sorry, yes. I see now. I see, I see. God, I- My apologies. So what does it do? Gives you minus two to constitution. Ugh. And plus two to wits. Right. Ah, oh, you're saying Far Out Man is a is a talent, right? Yeah, okay. I thought you were. Sorry. I thought you were like Far Out Man. Come on, get with it. It's a talent. You don't know what a talent is? Far Out Man. No. You, oh, yeah. I got it. It's all good. Figured it out. <laughs> all right. Quick save. So Constitution's taken a bit of a hit, which is unfortunate. But wits have gone up. So now... Yes, it is. I thought you might know that one since you play a ranger and you might have that one. No, I don't. <laughs> so I probably should. Increases the range of skills and scrolls but does not affect melee and touch range. Because, yeah, I should probably get that next time. Oh well. Uh, uh, do I have anything that I need to learn? That I can learn, sorry. For, for Mahalia. No. But I have um, the things to back up. So, I'm wondering if we should do the arena next. Level, uh, level, uh, level 9. No, uh, no, it would be against you then. Who was a level eleven? Okay. Um, it's not a must-have. Yeah, I assumed as much because that's why I don't have it. I have elemental ranger though. So I figured that might be a must-have for uh, for Mahalia. You're gonna. Okay, that was weird. Anyway, quick save. Uh, that's been that's five hours now. Um, I will probably I will end the stream here. Uh, now that we've got that talent, um, and we'll uh, we'll head to the other place uh, next to, uh, to the, the the house and everything next time, and, and probably and we'll do all that stuff then. Um, but that will do it for today. Um, I will be back tomorrow with Valorant, and then again on Monday with Divinity. Thank you for joining me, Black and Dream. Always always fun to have you around. Um, and yeah. Like I said, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow, if not Monday. If not, I'll see you when I see you. Take care for now. We'll take, always take care, really. Um, but, yes. Until next time. Goodbye for now. <laughs>